because it's like, hey, hey, uncle. uncle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so they there are six boys, four girls, and Damn. you know, but we were raised, even though you know our family had its challenges. We yeah. were raised, your brother's your brother. There's no such that you can't There's cut no him step. in half. Yeah. There's no half. There's so no such yeah, thing as a half brother. Dad went away, but your brother stayed. My brothers were around. They came and went between parents, uh, you know, because that's the way it goes. Yeah. Um, but um, they're always my brothers. And to oh, today, see. they're my brothers. My sisters are my sisters. That's um, wonderful. Yeah. Uh, because kids are resilient. Unfortunately, they will live through a lot of crap. Sadly, yes. many of them have, and yeah. we are still here. So Still yeah. kids. <laughs> and so, you know, we moved around a lot. I, I think I lived in, uh, because, you know, my mom, I, I mean, I'm not ashamed. We were poor. Right. Oh, no. Right? We were, <clears throat> poverty is nothing to be ashamed of. Not right? at all. I've been you in can't, it. You I'm can't still win in it. The, the, the birth lotto. Although he's right? kind of winning in that aspect because his house, yeah, man. Look at this place. Yeah. Well, look at us. That, yeah. That's a whole different story. That's his wife. Yeah, that's my wife. My sugar oh, mom. He had nothing, he had nothing to do with it. He yeah. found some. My, he won the lotto. Yeah. He won the bride lotto. Uh, no, no, no. no. Uh, Stephanie, uh, down in LA, she's taking care of all of her daughters. So. Love of his life. Yes. Love of my oh, life. By the way, he does have two lovely daughters, one of which is in softball championships. Uh, well, she's Nationals? a, no, she's a, oh, no. well, she was, but now she's back. They're in the fall season. Okay, she's, a, okay. she's a club travel ball player. Damn. So she's been traveling since she was eight years old. How old is she now? Uh, she's uh, going to be 16 in February. Wow. Uh, so go Warriors. Yeah. Uh, go Warriors. Uh, but she's in, they're in Huntington Beach. Wow. This weekend. So they had, they were in Arizona. Uh -huh. Uh, a month ago, then they went down to Irvine, then they had a week off, now they're in Huntington Beach, and then the season will end for, they have their two-month <coughs> conditioning training down period, then it'll start all up again. Yeah. What position does she play? Uh, she's an infielder, she uh -huh. plays third base now, but she also plays first base, second base, and uh, she catches. So she's a utility player, a coach long time told her, look, if you can hit, and you can play multiple positions, the coach will always find a place for you. Yeah. <laughs> and if you focus on one position and then you can't play, right. you're done. You're done. Yeah. Right? So that's kind of the philosophy she took. Oh. Well, she... And I, I train her in Kaju, but she says, Dad, I carry a bat. <laughs> <laughs> like, and you gotta you gotta get it to the Serrata people. No, is it, I was gonna say, is that what you started doing steaks? You're like, oh I gotta teach you how to do that. I gotta defend myself. <laughs> no, I'll get the back. Right. Yeah, no. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my god. My wife has it over all of us. She's a certified army marksman, so you know. Wait, she, really? Yeah. So it's bad, badass is right. You would never know it because I've she I can take her. me away She's from a so hundred. I thought I know, she was you would just never like know a it. sweet really? you would never know yeah. it. Oh man, I'm never pissing her off. I'll never see it coming. I'll just yeah, drop. So you're, the no, you're just gone. You're the weak yeah. link in this family, then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I am. I get yeah, it. Yeah. And I'm also being the itself. only male that was established long ago, right? <laughs> like clearly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, oh, I, I tell you, funny. I have two daughters too. Yeah. Right. So you know. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyway, they had my twin sister and I, and uh, then, you know, we grew up, my mom tried to do what she could, she, she worked when she could, she took assistance when she needed to, and... Five kids, man. Oh, uh, no, seven well, now with you Yeah, two. but at the time, it was the, the older siblings had started okay, okay. leaving, and it was just my sister and I, but, you know, we moved 22 times by the time I turned 18. Wow, that's a lot. So we were never wow. in any place more than... So like in 11 years, you guys moved like 22 times? All over the place. Oh, so up Twice and down the Bay Area, huh? A Bay Area, Central Valley, Sierra Nevada foothills, you name it. So, you know, for Senior Grandmaster Pete, I was always the prodigal son, right? Right. Never giving up Kadadu, never yeah. stopping my training, but always coming back, going, coming, coming and back, going, coming, coming back, going. going, you know. Wow. wow. <laughs> that's impressive. And, yeah, and uh, I don't have that kind of patience. I was just, oh well, I'm done. Yeah, instead <laughs> of the absentee, he was the absentee son. And, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, and you know, I would find things like 
when I was in uh, the Sierra Nevada foothills, I don't know if you guys know San Andreas area, Ingalls Camp, mm -hmm. uh, but up there, frog jump country. Mm -hmm. uh, so I was up there and, and I trained with a guy. Interesting, you can only do this in the 70s, man. This guy was <laughs> Reverend Meha. If you're out there and you're still alive, Reverend Meha. You know, shout out to you. Shout out to you. This dude had a, you know, he looked like a, something out of a Jim Croce album. Right? <laughs> he had the, the 1970s yeah. beard and the shaggy hair, and he drove the school bus during the week. <laughs> he was the minister for a pretty sizable church on Sunday, and then he Dang. taught Taekwondo <laughs> on the weeknight. He was like the Renaissance man, right? Right. And so, yeah, so I trained with him in Taekwondo and earned my purple belt there. No way, yeah. wow. And then uh, when I went to college, I trained with Yamaguchi Sensei uh, in uh, Goju Kai. Okay. During my time in, in college in San Francisco. Um, always training with Senior Grandmaster Pete as well, right? Okay. But just filling the need, right? <laughs> right yeah, yeah. So when you have it, like when it's in you, yeah. You look for it. You find right? it. Oh, you, yeah. It's you like water. It. You just find yeah. your way. Um, I train with uh, some some um, uh, Aikido with right. some friends of mine, and you know I just do what I can do, but always you know understand that I am a kaiju person, heart, soul, blood, body, and bone. So uh, does that mean uh, when we do our little demonstration at the end of this, uh, it'll be kaiju? It'll be kaiju. Yeah. Are you gonna do the first twelve kick things to his groin? It's thirteen, by the way. Thirteen. Right. <laughs> yeah, no. well, we're adding a couple. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, there's the stomp and grind. You know, we added that. After, Always restomp. Uh, huh? Sensei Ken, right? But, uh, you know, want to get up with the times, right? He's keeping up. He's keeping yeah. up. You know. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. blind, not dumb. <laughs> For sure. So that, that, that's an incredible. I mean, so you, let, let me ask you this: because of the, the circle you keep, yeah. and they're a bunch of CD guys, by the way. Wow, uh, really? Dennis, Dennis Bob Green, Gomez. Bob Gomez. Yeah, these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Bob, Bob. Not, but love way, you guys. By the way, shout out to uh, Grandmaster Bob Gomez. Yes, we heard about that. Wait, That's he's awesome. a Grandmaster now? Yeah, yeah. remember? Um, oh, Dennis I did see that. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And that was actually not something that happened recently. It no. happened, He we all made agreements and... He, he was right, now I humble enough to acknowledge his grandmaster status when he felt it was the right time, but uh, that that was not something. And, and yeah, no, he told us to call the professor when we yeah. Yeah. met him. There, there are Congratulations, few, sir. There are a few people like outside of the martial arts world, yeah. you know, that like I'm, I'm attracted to people because who they are and oh, yeah. because of what they do, right. right? Not what they say, but what they do. Bob is one of the guys that you can what he does. Yeah, you know, the thing Don't always listen to what he says. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. But, He's a comedian. But, but trust what he does. He's a comedian. Um, guy. He, we were roommates. What? Yeah, when I was uh, 18, my first house I moved out of was to Bob's house. And he kicked me out. And he kicked that you That rat. He did. He kicked me did out. Did take his girl? No, but you know what? I was a punk. Because you know what you're like when you're 18 and, you, you know, you're out well, on your own. And, and growing up the way you did, come on. Up and come yeah. on, I just, you know, I was a punk. And he did the best favor he could ever do for me. He said, get out. <laughs> Sorry, I can't handle you anymore. <laughs> you know, and, and because of that, I, I got my first apartment. Oh, you nice. Know, I got yeah. my first apartment on my own and proved to myself I could, I could do, do it. And to Bob. You know, and to well, Bob. <laughs> You know, Bob, we love you, luckily, no matter Donna, what this guy says. Luckily, Donna found and saved him. And, you know. yeah. <laughs> he is a rescue. <laughs> but I, I tell him every time, and he hates it. He hates to talk gushy, right? right? But I tell him every time, you know, I can never repay what you did for me. Oh. So uh, him and I, it goes beyond martial arts. Uh, I'm going to be sure to tag him on this one. Once you put this one up, he's going he's gonna to know exactly. Yeah, he'll I'm hate tell, it. I'm going to tell the time it. that he will. I'm hey, sure you want to title that Bob kicked me out? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think so. Yeah, right. <laughs> Bob Gomez kicked me out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he'll hate it because, you know, he's on to bigger and better people. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no, no. I, love, I love him and he, I love all the success he's having with this. Dude, yeah. No, he, I'm so he's happy, awesome. yeah. I mean, he's really you know, and happy. He, he's been very instrumental to us as well, by the yeah. way. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's helped us out a lot when he never even had to, but he was just, you know, a person like Bob is 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 one in a while guy that you you don't see them often, 
you know, he doesn't he doesn't know us that well, but, but the stuff that he's offering up and, and doing for us and things that he says about us is gold. I mean, I'm like, oh my God, you're right. It's hard to repay somebody for those kind of kindnesses that they give out. But see, that's the right. point. Yeah, you don't repay them. No, you do it for someone else. You just be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you Absolutely. Pay forward. And uh, the other guy who we need to mention because he's not getting off the hook either since he got me here <laughs> is uh, Mr. Sifu Dennis Duarte. Um, Isn't his middle name Rat Bastard? Rat Bastard is good. Yeah. Dennis Rat Bastard. I didn't say Duarte. that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I still enjoy the rides. Love you, you love you, love you, love you. Nothing but no. Don't look but, at me, Dennis. I, I'm just no. sitting here. <laughs> but, but in all seriousness, um, yeah. as, as serious as we can get on this show, <laughs> in all seriousness, he really is you know, a bad boy. Dennis, do, we need to talk about him. Yes. Because let's do it. Dennis, not yeah, not not behind his back, but to the whole face. world, <laughs> to everyone else. Because um, because I believe the whole world will eventually watch your show. I have faith At some in point. You. Oh wow! Oh, wow. That's, so wow. I praise, so, I guess. Yeah. So the thing about Dennis, when I first met him, uh -huh. I kind of thought to myself, "Is this guy real? Like, what's his angle?" Right. Like, he's trying to sell you something. What, what's he angling? <laughs> right. Because especially when you're someone like me, I, and I freely admit it, I, I grow up because of my circumstances, because the way I inter I have in had interactions with people. Um, I'm suspect. I'm naturally suspect. Oh, right? I'm there like, with you. <laughs> and and it's, it's horrible because you tend to hold people at arm's length. And, you know, it took me years to kind of get to the place where I assume good intentions. <laughs> right? Uh, wow. So... <laughs> when when I met Dennis, I was I like, agree. "What what's this guy like? You know, what's his what's he want? Like you said, what's he selling?" Yeah, yeah. And then it it took me a while to realize <coughs> he is just he's one of those unique people that you're fortunate enough to meet in life who really enjoys making human connections. Yes. And I think he's lonely. He <laughs> could be. <laughs> um. <laughs> But no, but I'm not gonna let you derail me on this. Okay. But but and and I'll, I'll give you an example. I'm not, I'm gonna embarrass him out in the ether. Yes. Is Let's do it. we first Let's started do it. training, right? Mm -hmm. And he talks, and he, whenever we talk, it always feels like he's listening. Maybe he's not, but it feels like he is. So it feels like he's. In, but we're talking and stuff, and we I started training at Bob's with, uh, you know, uh, I would I would teach a class, work with some of Bob's. Students and then uh, beforehand, Dennis was working stick and knife with them, and uh, I would come in, uh, you know, always in the middle of class, always and kind of watch and I'm like, what is this guy doing? And, you know, I, I always I'm, I'm one of those like physical verbal thinkers. I I can't think sitting, you know. <laughs> right. I, I need to like, oh, look what he's doing. Well, that's because you can't see. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um so anyway, and so finally I just <coughs> fell in the class. He's like, you right. know, if you ever want to join us, by all means. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> um, now that I have permission. So, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I'm training, and he was showing a technique one day, mm -hmm. and he did something nobody's ever done before. And he knew my visual limitations uh -huh. and stuff. He reached out and he put his hands on my arm. Not in that way. He put his hands on my hey, arm. I'm judging. <laughs> And he walked my arm through the motion. Now, hmm. my eyesight isn't that bad. Right. But the fact that he did that in a way to kind of reach out <clears throat> and bridge the learning. Yeah. Right? He adapted you, to you. You know what that was? Empathy, man. Oh. And empathy in this world is in, is in scarce quantity. Yeah, I don't have that. We, we need it. Right? Like, especially in times like now. Okay, I feel stupid because I don't know what the word empathy means. <laughs> right? And he, I, 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 it just blew my mind what he did, right? Like, I was like, yeah. nobody in, you know, and many people I've trained with know that I have visual impairment. Right. Nobody thought to even, like, do that, right? Actually, when I was pinning you against the wall last time we played, I didn't know that till now, so. <laughs> 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 I, I was just playing. I was like, I mean, Granted, it wouldn't have mattered if I knew. We still would have gone as hard as we were going. So, first of all... I don't you know, have empathy. I, I, I'm just going to go. That's true. That's true. <laughs> See? And, and, and uh, when we 
get on the mat. Yeah. Different. You you are. Oh, of course. Uh, so revenge so is what it's called. One, one of the things yeah. also the that you know Dennis did was calm the hell down, bro. Um, like when I train, mm -hmm. I I get excited like a kid. Ah. Right. Yeah. Like I, I see that. Like I get the energy starts pumping and I just. I want to just take it all over. Just go. Right, just go. <laughs> and sometimes people are like, dude, chill. Calm down. Calm down. Relax. Right. Like, you're supposed to be, you're supposed to be a ring star. <laughs> Man, I want to, I want to. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let the white hair fool you. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, we yeah. grew up to be kids. Yeah. That's right. You know, um, speaking of Dennis, uh, this guy, and, and I, like you said, you, you, you almost look at him and say, okay, what's his angle? And then shortly after meeting him and just hearing some of the things that he said, you realize there is no angle. Nope. Right. It's yeah. just he's just yeah. genuinely this kind hearted guy who wants to find people who are like minded and just share. Yeah. Right. It's like, hey, I mean, you guys are cool. You guys really like this guy. <laughs> yeah. Right. And then he introduced to you, then I'm like, Whoa, wait a minute. Yeah. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> there goes the streak. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. No, you you're you know, when I first met you, and I wanted to bring this up because I want people to understand one of the things that you and I collaborated with is the uh, Asian hate stuff. Oh, and yeah. You, uh, and I'd love for you to talk about the story about your uh, your mother-in-law. Because so, I think that's a, a wonderful thing that, that you, you know, sorry. that happened. So uh, we're, we're near Moffett Airfield, so we got military jets. I was and wondering. Commercial. Yeah. And, well, sorry about that. Um, first of all, uh, Thank you for that opportunity to be a surgeon. Oh, I, I told you personally, really? I want to tell you now, but thank you for that opportunity. Oh, no, that was, I, I, I thought we were joining you, not no. the other way around. At, at my, at, you know, at my heart, I'm a soldier. I'm a good, you know, let's find a way to go get this done. Right. right? Yeah. Like, but you opening up that door and, and <clears throat> providing that opportunity, it, it, you've done more than you know for a lot of people. Well, wow. uh, we have... <laughs> Our, Thank you. our initiative has been recognized not only by you know fellow groups and, and advocacy right. groups, but uh, the um, Help and Awareness Initiative has been recognized by uh, uh, representatives. <coughs> our our uh, rep congressmen, local congressmen, have been rec recognized. Uh, we have commendations from the city of Palo Alto wow. and from Santa That's Clara sweet. County Supervisor Smidian's office yeah. um, thanking us. We've done seminars in Mountain View, uh, Palo Alto, and Fremont uh, for the city of Santa Clara. Look at that. They flew planes just for you. over 17 years ago I met my wife right. and even though she's the most crazy insane frustrating person in the world she can manage to deal with me so I love her back um, and uh, no, I, that's a I, sweet way to put it right, right. Uh, my wife Stephanie is, is incredible even though you know if you hear us talking to each other you're like man gosh how do they live with each other <laughs> the, the thing is, we're almost the same person. Um, but her parents came to this country in 1950 as immigrants. Her, her father came over and worked in Chinatown originally, and then immigrated down the peninsula and, you know, uh, to East Palo Alto. And her mother was, I don't know if you're familiar with the term paper bride. Yeah, I've heard that. But in the <coughs> early part of the 20th century, and, you know, we had the Chinese Exclusion Act. Right, right. right. And so they, you know, thank you for helping us build the railroads and infrastructure of your for of our country, but now, eh, stay out. Right. Uh, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah, you know. Forgetting the history of our country, which is, you know, we were founded by undocumented immigrants. Yeah, it's um, built on the back of undocumented immigrants. Right. There you go. So I was one of them. Yeah. So um, 
you know, she was brought over for an arranged marriage, um, but she came over with her husband at the time. Uh, these are air quotes, by the way. Um, and, <laughs> English teacher. Yeah. So came over with her husband, and who was not her husband, mm -hmm. and then, you know, was able to finally marry her actual husband, but they were taken to Angel Island, spent a year in Angel Island after they had their oh, their eldest daughter. Damn. Um, my father-in-law was a cook for a year uh -huh. on Angel Island. Then they came back and, you know, it's the immigrant story you hear a million times, but they originally bought land in East Palo Alto mm -hmm. through hard work. They were flower growers. Then they moved to Mountain View across Middlefield from where we are now. And then the city had imminent domain because they wanted to build what is now Mountain View Wisman School, or Wisman School, sorry, Wisman School there. And so they, they sold the land there and bought the land here. Okay. So where we're sitting used to be flower greenhouses, right? Oh, uh, down the block. All the way down. And then they had, because they're Chinese and smart, they had nine kids. <laughs> so, you know. You work this field, you work yeah, this exactly. field, you work that right? field. Right? Low paid labor. Low paid labor. Uh, I mean, a beautiful family. <laughs> beautiful family. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll tell you, uh, my, my, I don't consider them my in laws. I consider them my, my family. They have welcomed me into their family. And, and they, you know, I, I call my, one of my sisters, uh, uh, I call her JJ, mm -hmm. which in Chinese, in Cantonese means big sister. Oh, okay. okay. Nice. And she calls me Momoi, which is uh, little brother. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. And, okay. You okay. Know, if I'm mad, they call me was... uh, Bakoi, which Bakoi? means white boy. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny how that sounds very similar. <laughs> yeah, they sound very similar. Um, so anyway... Uh, wow. So they raised nine kids. <laughs> yeah. And the, uh, and I have to and tell you, business. each oh, one man. of those, even though those siblings have their own issues, because siblings do, but those nine kids all have their own homes. They have their own families, kids of their own. Now grandkids, yay, grandkids. And wow. they're growing up. And we have the, I have the, the you know, bottomless gratitude from their labor to raise my daughters in the family home right mm -hmm. they built this home 60 years ago really so, yeah and you know it came with the the <laughs> Kali conversations you know, i everything. know i was gonna right. say like, they were very forward awesome. thinking They're very forward thinking <laughs> yeah so um so <laughs> anyway <laughs> they they built this home and so my daughters have only ever known one home to me, wow. that's like the word "family home." To me, is an oxymoron, right? right. Like it, that they, they don't. Wait, you guys didn't move around twice or times? <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> What's so wrong with you guys? <laughs> my my oldest daughter uh -huh. has friends now that she's known since kindergarten. Oh, that's and, awesome. And I can't, I can't even, I don't have a reference for that, right? Nope. Like wow. it's crazy. You're barely friends with the guy that kicked you out. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> right. And, uh, um, what was it? <laughs> you got me on that one. Um, he so loves know. you, Bob. He so, so loves you. Gratitude yeah. that you have for your in-laws. So, because so of gratitude I have. So every day, you know, inside you'll see a shrine right. to Papa and Gong Gong. And, and, you know, we thank them every day. My daughters still talk to their Papa, oh. you know, every day. And I Beautiful. make it a point that they do, right. right? Because I want them to understand who they are, where, where they, they come came from, from yeah. but also what it took to provide. You know, we're in Mountain View, and nothing against anyone who lives in Mountain View, but home of Google and ever since the microchip, let's, there are a lot of entitled people here. Oh, yeah. Right? I mean, one of the yeah. things you'll notice in this neighborhood, if you ever look at a real estate book, mm -hmm. is that the lots that like this that sell, the family lot it gets plowed under they put six of those birdhouses you know the three-tiered yeah you know the units unit, yeah. right 1200 square feet and they sell for a million five each wow. and that's not an exaggeration no 
right? That's outrageous. That's so yeah. you got to imagine, first of all, the kind of people that can you know, afford, afford right. that for, for essentially a townhome, right? Right. Because that's what you're getting. Oh, my and, and I don't mean to you know, speak ill of my neighbors.